So the Alexander is here. 2016 just passed, has been amazing. And with that, one of my New Year's resolutions has been to make more videos, to get back to YouTube, to get back into the fun of things, into the flow of things. Now, this is gonna be my first video of the year. I'm gonna try to make it fast, to the point, and in one cut. Yeah, so there's gonna be a lot of awkward moments. Sorry about that. One of the things that, that I wanted to do is uh, get more in touch with 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 the now, like what's what's trending now, for example, what's what's what hip people talk about. Let's put it like that. And I'm not really sure how to do that. I'm not really sure where to look at it. I mean, that's one of the steps we all have to take, right? Just searching, researching. But I have no idea where to start or if anything of what I think it's interesting, it's good enough. But you know what, let's give it a shot. Like for example, I have seen one of the stories that come my eye is that um, the Galaxy S7 is gonna turn out. Those were some leaks. Now the S6 had uh, fixed the weaknesses from, from, from S5, but uh, it kind of gave up on the on the strengths. Now I'm not really a phone guy. To be honest, the best phone I had was the the Nokia, like the Woldy Brick. Yeah, I, I actually threw that in the pool, and after two days of sitting in the sun, it still worked. You can't find phones like that nowadays. But they're saying they're gonna take a new route with S7. They still have the the strengths. And they're gonna go for water resistant, big battery life boost, the uh, micro SD slot returns, and the uh, microphone jack is still the microphone, the headphone jack is still gonna be there. Something that the iPhone is not gonna have. They're actually going for the iPhone 7. iPhone 7? Yeah, iPhone 7. No, iPhone S, uh, 6S. So, hey, good luck to them. What can I say? Phone enthusiasts are gonna appreciate this a lot. Something else that I found interesting: Leonardo DiCaprio actually won a Golden Globe. No way, that's normal. What he doesn't win is a Oscar. How does Leonardo DiCaprio, such a amazing actor, and he has such a history of of, of awesome movies, and and the, the talent that he has. He did not win one Oscar. He got nominated for four or five, four or five. He was so close to winning, and then everything went to shit. But yeah, the speech he gave. He th he was thankful to to the director, to the crew, to the cast, to everyone. It was actually heartwarming, to be honest. It was nice to see him being so appreciative of everything. Uh. Something I find bullshit, I call really, really, really big bullshit, lottery tickets. For example, Americans have a thing called Powerball. It's uh, $1.3 billion worth, right? The lottery prize. Now, something that everyone says and everything, I call everyone bullshit on this one. When you get so much money and you don't really have to, to, to work for it, everything is going to change inside and around you like everything is going to change more likely than not for the worse <laughs> because people uh, quit their jobs don't have future plans don't have future investments and don't really have lives anymore or relationships because they initially just quit everything um in this particular case for example a 53 year old woman from California won a uh, one million dollars and then the store owner the liquor store owner from where she bought the ticket sued her because of the oral contract that they made if she would win they would split it half in half the winnings the prize but then the woman came and said no 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 there was a paper signed by both of us that would be fifty thousand dollars for him if she would win. So, when it's money, when it, when it's money involved, when money is involved, everything goes to shit basically, and I mean a lot of money. Okay, what can I say? 
something that I found find interesting and a big waste of money and resources and time. Charlie Sheen. Now he is a interesting fellow. Let's put it like that. He's an amazing actor as well. He made a huge ton of money. He still makes it. He's in the media all the time. <clears throat> I think he got kicked off Two and a Half Men. I'm not really sure about that one. And yet, the only thing I mean, you know, the only thing he uses his wealth for is getting drunk, drugged, and diseased. Well, more or less. Everyone has their pet peeves. Yeah, fine. Why not? But still, man. I'm really sure that would be the best way to live your life. Yeah, enjoy it, but still. And for my last story of the day, <laughs> and this is this is just weird. This is a German carpenter invented a male birth control. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Take a minute to take that all in. A German carpenter invented a male birth control. How does it work? Well. It's a switch. It's literally a goddamn light switch that you put on your tubes. It's in between the balls and the pee pee. <laughs> God damn it. And you just switch it and no one gets pregnant. You switch it again and it flows normally. Now, the thing here is the, the top most voted comment was what happens? When you're really going to town, and it's get, it gets a bit wild, like on off, on off, on off, on off, <laughs> on off, on. Uh, well, shit, I got you pregnant. He has a solution for that as well. He made a security switch on the back side of the thingy that you have to press it to make to to turn it on. He used it, and he he says it works. He's happy. I'm just not seeing it. I'm sorry, but can we, can we have like a light, for example, like 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 a lid? Yeah, you know, it's turned on, it's turned off. I have trouble remembering setting my alarm. Do you actually think I'm gonna remember setting that? Uh, but yeah, that would be actually our for today. It's about it's about ten minutes in. The video is a bit long. I have no idea how to shorten it. Then I'm gonna keep working on this. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, share it, and Tune in next time and think about it. Male birth control. Yeah, by a carpenter.